Hi, Chris Martin here, Senior Field Application Engineer with BenQ America. In this video today, we're going to be showing you how to clean your BenQ Interactive Flat Panel. We want to make sure that we're keeping you safe, and also show you the proper way to clean your board, make sure we're keeping it in good working order. Before we get started on cleaning our BenQ boards, we'll have to gather a couple of supplies. First thing we'll need is two lint-free microfiber cloths, preferably disposable. Now the second thing we'll need is a cleaning solution uh, based on our review of the CDC guidelines. 70% isopropyl alcohol. Now the 70% number is very important because if you go below 50%, then we're not really doing an effective uh, job of killing these germs. And if you get above 90%, actually these bacteria will actually get a protective coating on them. Uh, and so the 70% is kind of the magic number based on the CDC guidelines to uh, be the most effective at, uh, at taking care of germs and still being able to clean your board. Next thing we'll need is disposable gloves. So now that we have our supplies, we're ready to get started on cleaning the board. The first thing we want to do is we want to power off any computers and any connected devices that are connected to your BenQ panel. The second thing we want to do is actually power off the panel itself. There's a power switch normally here on the right side. With our devices powered off and put our disposable gloves on, we're ready for the first step. We're going to wipe down the board with a uh, uh, to remove any dust or debris with just a dry microfiber cloth. After we've ensured we've removed all the dust and debris from the board, we're ready to move to the second step, which is grabbing our second microfiber cloth. And I prepared a 70% isopropyl alcohol solution. So the important thing is we want to spray this onto the microfiber cloth. We don't want to spray anything directly on the board, so it's always important. We don't want this sat saturated or soaking wet. Just want to just lightly, lightly get a spray on here. And that's adequate, and then we'll be able to wipe down the board here first. We don't want to use paper towels, any disposable wipes, pre-moisten wipes, or anything else that's going to be harsh and scratch the board. We don't want to spray anything directly on the screen. These boards are not waterproof. We also want to make sure that we're not using uh, banana oil, Windex, any kind of like ammonia-based cleaner, harsher, erosive substances that, to, to clean the board. We want to make sure you have a board that's going to last you for years to come. After wiping down the touch surface of the board, it's important to be able to wipe down all the surfaces that have been touched. So the outside bezel, the pen tray, uh, your pins and remotes, we want to make sure that we're also cleaning those as well. Any surfaces that be, might be commonly touched. So we'll clean these as well. After wiping down all surfaces, throw away those microfiber cloths and disposable gloves, and you're ready to move on to the next board. For more helpful hints and tips, check us out on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.